Blue, we never really see you get that fired up or that angry on a baseball field. What, what can you kind of share about your side of what happened last night? I mean, honestly, why well, just happened on the field? Um, definitely, the hits threw me out, and I just felt like it, it just kind of went a little bit overboard. Like, I get a part where you can celebrate and, like, you can be excited and all that, but I like, just kind of like come down and like, kind of get on my face on that. I just feel like that's something that I'm not going to take. Not just from him, somebody that I kind of thought be my friend, not just for him, but for anybody. That's something that I'm just not going to take. And yeah, I just feel like I didn't appreciate the way that he handled it. I get like, getting excited, I get getting fired up, big situation and all that, but just kind of come down basically to the home plate and just kind of like let me know. It's just kind of something that I really did not appreciate. Have you communicated with him since last night? No, I'm not going to. So he didn't reach out or try to apologize that way? Uh, I would say he did, but it's not something that I'm like looking forward to or some that I'm just going to live it out what happened. I'm just going to live it at that. Was it the words he said to you, not just the gestures that he made towards you? That uh, no, he was just going to, he was just going to talk, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to like keep the comments on, on that, but it just, I don't know, I feel like you always gotta keep it respectful. And like, as somebody that I had a lot of respect for and that I know for quite a long time, but dating back to 2020 uh, during the pandemic and all that. So I just feel like I deserve a little bit more respect on that. And yeah, that's kind of how I feel about that. You just look more confused than anything by the reaction. Like literally confused because like, I will understand like, oh, you get excited or even like, we know each other. Come on, man. Like, we know each other. And like, whenever I saw the extent that he did it, that's why I was like, man, why are you doing that to me? You know, like, why? Why is your whole point on that? So it just, that nah, I was, I was honestly so confused. And I don't know, I even watched the video and like, you can clearly tell that I was not expecting that. Julio, were you more bothered by his actions or the words that he said? No, nah, I just, the whole situation, you know, like the whole the situation as a whole was just not, what I just don't call for, I would say. You know, like I said, like I get like celebrating, but I feel like you can do that to your, to with your team and all that. You know, I feel like that's something that we all see. Everybody getting hype, everybody celebrating, celebrating the win. This is a tough game, but I just feel like the extent that what you do it, that that's that's something that I feel like we got, we can we can watch. Scott said he talked to you about maybe lessons learned, something that he had had experienced in his career. What, if anything, do you take away from this? Uh, you know that even though we got friends, sometimes when we, once we step on the field, we kind of got kind of got forget about that, and it's kind of hard to kind of learn it that way. But some point earlier, sooner sooner than rather sooner than later, I was gonna learn something like that. So I'm glad that it happened now, and that I can just kind of keep moving forward from it. Well, yeah, does that change your aspect on the game at all? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. You know, like definitely, definitely kind of like open my eyes a little bit more and just kind of be careful, be really careful about how to move on things. It seems it's just like you play with emotion and everybody has emotion, but it seems like there's a difference between playing with emotion and celebrating and then maybe disrespecting you. Like yeah. it was more directed at you than what he did. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a also going to like kind of clarify something that I heard a lot of people like talking, oh, like we had a home run against him and things like that. That does not have anything to do with it because even after that, we talk and like all the stuff. We never mention it. We never, never talk anything about that. And like I remember when I hit a home run against him. I was, I remember I, it was a, it was a tight situation in Houston, all that. And I was celebrating. I was celebrating with myself, with my team. I never once look at him. I never once kind of like try to like let him know, hey, I hit a home run against you. I'm more celebrating other situations. So I feel like. That's just what I would like to, what I would, I would have liked to see for somebody that I told my friend. Okay, you can celebrate, you can do all that, but like, nah, kind of like come at me and kind of let me know, like things like that. So, because your dad had talked about respect for the game when you were younger. Do you definitely, know? definitely. I feel like that's something that I've always had. Like everybody that kind of uh, raised me into this game, I feel like I always talk about having that respect, and I feel like that's something that I never try to cross. And even though if I do something good in the big time moment or like anything like that. It's always celebrating with me and, my, and the team for something good, not to kind of like put anybody down. Julio, will you talk to him again or is this it? What can I say, man? I'm not really looking forward to it, so I'm I'm chilling. You know, I'm just trying to focus on what I need to do here with this team, with this family that we got here, and uh, that's all I'm focusing on. Julio, Gino said he thought he heard a homophobic slur in Spanish. Is that what you heard as well? No, nah, I just, it's all good. I got no comments on that. Julio, uh, speaking of the whole night last night, it's not the way you guys wanted it to go, obviously. Everything 
where's your team's mindset here? When you know what your situation you're in. I don't know. I mean, we definitely know the situation that we're in. We just gotta, we we just gotta come back and show up. You know, show up in the game, play, try to play on play our game, and just kind of keep competing because that's the only thing we can control. And just keep competing because we got four games to go. Were you hurt by that? Were you hurt by him? It was just not what you would want to see. You know, especially for somebody that you think as your friend or you thought as your friend. And I feel like that's not the most ideal situation. How will it affect your behavior? Like I said, I'm just going to be a little bit more careful. A little bit more careful. Careful with like who you trust or? Yeah, who I trust, who, who I think as a friend. I feel like I just got to review, you know, review my things and kind of just go through that. Because it's something that is unfortunate, but you're just kind of going through it and like kind of review who you really think. Well, it's your you friend. Here doing early work and stuff. Last night was tough, four strikeouts. A lot of runners left on base. How, how, was that one of the toughest games you've played in in terms of not doing what you want to do on the field? Definitely, you know, definitely. Especially when, when you really have something at stake, when you really have something like a goal as a team and all that, you always want to contribute. And I feel like that's something that I didn't do. I'm looking forward to get back on the field and show up and try to do my thing. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.